Hey everyone, so in your last class we talked about how we were starting our whimsical winter landscapes and we got as far as making our rainbow paper. So I'm gonna go through the next few steps with you here. So I'm gonna put these to the side. So last class we made our rainbow paper. We don't need that yet, so I'm also gonna put that to the side. Now if you have construction paper at home, you could totally get a piece of any color of construction paper. If you don't have construction paper, you could do this all on white paper and just draw a line for your snow. It's totally okay. But what we're gonna do with, if you have construction paper is we're gonna use a piece of white paper to make our snow. And then the color of the construction paper becomes the background. But remember, if you're just using white paper, it's completely okay. You'll just draw a line for your snowy hill and you'll draw your sun and everything like that, okay? Uh, white paper will work totally fine. You'll just color in your sky. Um, but what I'm gonna do here, since I have a lot of stuff, is I'm gonna use my paper. I picked purple for my background, but and honestly, any color will work. And then I'm gonna take a white paper and all I'm gonna do is turn it so it's vertical. And I'm just gonna cut a really wavy line. I'm just trying to think of what, what a natural slowy, a snowy slope would look like. Okay, something like that. And if you're not happy with the shape, you guys know you could totally just start again. It's no big deal. So I'm going to take my glue. And I'm going to get glue around the outside, close to the edge. So I don't have any floppy parts. And then I'm just going to put a few in the middle. And then this is going to go right on our paper. And if anything doesn't line up absolutely perfectly, it's okay, you could just trim it later. I'm gonna rub, but I always like to turn it over and rub from the back. This helps that glue to make a better contact and just kind of smoosh onto your paper a little bit. So I say like we give it a little massage. And now we've got our snowy slope. Now, if you're using a white paper, you can totally just color on your sun, or you could even make it the moon by adding a white circle. But if you have white or yellow paper, you could always just use the scrap from the leftover piece that you just cut, or like a scrap of white paper. So I'm gonna go sun. So I'm gonna cut a yellow circle. And I'm just cutting and turning my paper. Or if it helps, you could draw it and then cut it. And now I can place this up in the sky. I could put it in the corner and trim. Or I could put it down here like it is kind of coming up. So if my paper, let's see if it dried all the way. Oh, no. I'm going to peel it back just a little bit and tuck it under there. So it kind of looks like it's either coming up or like maybe that it's setting. So let's get some glue on our sun. Got that nice and gluey, and we're gonna stick that right here. And then I'm just gonna pop a little more glue on that piece that I peeled back. Flip over, rub, rub, rub. Good to go. All right, so now let's talk about your sun rays. Right, if you wanna do those or any color blending or even like maybe snowy hills too that we can use. Now, if you don't have um, chalk pastels, I'm gonna be using chalk pastels, but if you don't have these at home, you could definitely just use crayon for this. That would be fine, because you can get a nice little light effect. You don't want this color to be really harsh like with a marker, um, so crayons would work great. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my chalks I'm gonna first take a little bit of orange and I'm just gonna put a little orange around my sun. And then all I'm gonna do is just take my finger and just blend it. Now I wanna do this neatly because I don't want it to go all over my snow or all over my purple background. So if you are using chalks, just try to be really, really neat with it. Pay attention to where your finger's going, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my yellow. And now normally I would shy away from having you guys do lines from your sun, but because we're not going super realistic with this project, I think it's okay. <laughs> 
because we don't actually see lines shooting off the sun like that if you ever look up during the sky. So I always kind of tell you guys not to do that. But we're going for a whimsical feel, which means that we're not going for obviously something that looks really realistic with this project. This is like I said, the landscape, the winter forest that a unicorn would live in. <laughs> All right, sun is done. Now, if you're adding snow, the splatter paint, that will come later because I actually preferred the effect that I got when I did that last because then it went on top of the trees and that made more sense. Because if it were snowing, it would be hitting the trees. Now, for my snowy slopes, I'm gonna take some blues. If you have purple, you could use purple. And I'm just gonna put very lightly just some lines, just to make it look like the snow has um, hills in it. I don't want to put so many because I don't want to make it look suddenly like it's like water or something. And this pack of chalk pastels actually does not have a purple, or else I would probably add some purple in it. But then I'd have to leave the camera and go find the purple. <laughs> so we're sticking with two blues. All right, and then I'm going to take my finger, same thing. Just a really light touch on that. All right, and so we've got our background done. Now we're gonna go back and this is kind of what we're gonna end with today. We're gonna go back to that rainbow paper. And we're going to take our pencil. Now, I don't have a pencil here, so I'm gonna do it straight with Sharpie. But you're gonna take a pencil and you're gonna to start to make the shapes for your trees. Now, obviously, your trees are just gonna be simple triangles. Some are gonna be shorter and wider. Some are gonna be smaller. Some are gonna be tall and skinny. Um, how you create the shape is totally up to you. I'm gonna leave that here so you can kind of see. Um, and what I'm gonna do, I would advise that you guys do it in pencil first and then outline in Sharpie, but I forgot to bring a pencil over here. So we're gonna go straight to it in Sharpie. <laughs> and if you wanna use a straight edge, like a roller, you certainly could do that. I am gonna grab one of those. Luckily I have one of those nearby. So I'm gonna take a color of my marker, doesn't matter which one, and I'm going to just start to make some tree shapes. But make sure when you're making yours that you're getting a variety, okay? You're getting different sizes. After you create that tree shape, you're gonna put a line down the middle and then you're just gonna give it sort of like a leaf design. Now, um, some students have asked if they could do this in different colors, like can they make the lines in different colors? Absolutely, like you don't have to stick with one marker. It's totally okay for you to use different colors. And now I'm gonna make my other ones. Just try to use your space wisely, okay? You don't wanna make it so gigantic, your first two, that you don't have room for any other ones. And you gotta think that these are gonna go on your background. So again, you don't want them super, super huge. Maybe I make a little wide one here. I know this one's upside down. I didn't turn my paper. <laughs> I think they're gonna need just a few more. So I'm trying to get again those tall, skinny ones. And let's add, I'm gonna turn, I wanna add like a little, little baby one. Now, if there's parts of your project that you don't, oh, the morning announcement. Today if there's parts that you guys um, like the colors of better, you can totally use those colorful areas. So if you don't like the way a spot turned out, don't use that area. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there since the announcements are on. <laughs> Bye, guys.